I'll let you present what you have, and then if we have any questions, I'll go around the table again. Hands up, gentlemen. First. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go through every line item unless you'd like me to. Um, we did provide a narrative to you as, as we were requested to do this year, which I believe is in your appendix G that explains. Yeah, I don't think you have that large a budget. I don't think we do either. Okay, here. Um, so if we didn't go through every line item, we wouldn't be talking about anything, unfortunately. Okay. So a lot of times people are listening to it for the first time because there are people who listen to the budget committee who don't listen to other presentations. So since it's short, if you could go over them with us. Sure. Um, the um, first item is part-time wages for our conservation coordinator. And we are asking for a 1.5% increase in those wages for next year. Um, the second item is public outreach. And what that includes is programs like our painted rain barrel auction and other items, other programs that we have in town to try to um, help people understand how they can work with us to improve water quality, improve drainage on their properties. Uh, secretarial expenses, we're looking to increase that um, this year as well. Um, we're looking for a uh, $1 an hour increase in those wages. We asked for that again last, we asked for that last year, but of course the budget didn't pass last year. That um, amount has not changed since uh, sometime in the early 2000s. I went back as far as 2002 and it was at $10 an hour at that point. I think uh, a one dollar, dollar an hour increase is warranted for that. Um, postage and supplies are that. Uh, we do mailings to new homeowners who move into town um, who have wetlands on their property. We do mailings to permit holders whose permits are about to expire. Um, we do other mailings to people in town and so that covers those postage and paper supplies. Uh, professional services. Um, we, upon occasion, need to, most of the time when we ask for an independent um, delineation of wetlands, we will have the applicants pay for those uh, if it's on their property. Um, the state allows us to do that. But there are times that we have to bring people in to help educate us on the finer points of wetlands delinea delineation because it is becoming a more complex science and we're finding that we need to be a lot more knowledgeable than we once were about how these delineations are done, what the criteria are, what Army Corps manuals are being used for the delineations. So <coughs> we have to get more into the details. So that helps us to learn more about that. Um, Seminars are seminars that are put on by the state, by DES, by other organizations um, that help us understand more about what's going on in uh, our salt marsh, in our estuary, in our wetlands around the town. Computer supplies and office equipment, um, exactly what it says. Uh, our camera just broke, so we need to uh, invest in a new camera. We photo document um, all the properties that uh, where work is being done for our commission, so we've got a record of exactly what was accomplished there. Um, mileage reimbursement is for uh, programs that we go to as well as for the site walks that we do on a monthly basis. Green infrastructure projects includes things like our Soak Up the Rain program um, that we've initiated where, uh, as it is right now, we are issuing grants to homeowners and businesses in Hampton to help install rain gardens on their properties. Uh, we're also hosting seminars so people can learn more about what a rain garden is, how it functions, and how it can be beneficial on their properties. So it's programs like that that come under the Green Infrastructure Program. And that's <coughs> it. Okay. <coughs> Questions? Nope. Now, his supply is an expense uh, year to date. He's not spending it. Is that a question, mm -hmm. Jerry? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't think you saw me. I, I, oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you've only, sp well, you spent 511 through September. I don't know what the, uh, I guess it's uh, 645 through uh, uh, October. And the budget is uh, 4330. Can you explain that, please? 
Um, most of what we spend for office and supplies, is, and I'm surprised it's as low as it is, it should be higher than that because it's ink for our printer um, and paper supplies is most of what we spend on it. Um, like I said, we need to invest in a new camera, so that will come out of that budget. Um, when thing, we bought a new printer a couple of years ago, that came out of that budget. So um, we're not going to spend it every year, but we don't know when those expenses are going to arise. We didn't know when we were presenting last year's budget that our camera was going to break. Yeah. I'm looking at uh, 11 and 12, and it's about 4,800, 4,400. 3,813, 4,114. Looks like you just took a nosedive this year. Yeah. Uh, you were averaging just about what you're budgeting, what you budgeted for this year, but you've only spent 645, so unless the money's been mislocated or mis mispositioned. I don't think so. We hope not. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. 645 through October. And you've Budget and, and previous years, you're right, you know, it's 4,800, 4,400, 3,800, 41. And you budgeted uh, 4,330. You haven't spent much. You should get a lot, lot in the bank for yourself. And my other question is on part time wages. It seems to me you're budgeted for 28,290 right now for 15. So. 28,290. This is 29,240. Is that that one and a half? We're at 28,802 currently. Then I know. Well, the budget for 15 yeah, is the budget is right. 28,290. 28, so what, what does that come out? Is that one and a half? 29,240 minus uh, 28,290 is 950 bucks divided by. 28290 is 3.35%. Our um, conservation coordinator did receive a uh, mid year increase this year. Oh, this year? This year. Oh, so the budget was incrementally increased, or what? I don't know. Uh, the increase this year took her up to 28802. So what we're, we're using that as our baseline and asking for a 1.5% increase for I next see. year. I wasn't aware. Oh, yeah, I missed that. One. I missed so, that so mid-year yeah. stepper. So that we're clear on that. So for 2015, she got 1.5. And you're proposing 1.5 again for 2016. This position came into being, I believe, in 20, the latter part of 2011? Uh, I believe it was 09. Christy, was it 09 or 2011? Do you know that this position came in? I know Rayanne was not the first person to hold the position. Yeah, because in 2013, it was almost a 10% raise. So if you go 2013 at 10% to 2015 or 2016, a very short period, you're looking at 13% raise in that position over that period of time that is well in advance of other positions for non-union individuals. Matter of fact, even union or, or non-union. I, I, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I think if you look at the salary as it was in 2009 and compare that to what we're no, we don't. For next year, then it's we don't, entirely different. We story. don't do that. We don't go back all that way because certainly we have individuals and unions and otherwise who went years and there was no catch up. And what I'm trying to see is how you personally are tracking your own employees at a rate that is not it's way in advance of what's going on for all of the personnel, union and non union alike. We're working pretty hard to try and keep it at the same rate to try and keep it at a one and a half percent rate per year every year we're trying to the problem that we have is that the budget doesn't pass the voters don't pass the budget and s in 17 years it's passed four times <coughs> well we realize that and and when that happens unfortunately personnel and you union non-union alike don't see their increases and that's unfortunate it doesn't mean that as we go forward it means Voters didn't vote that increase that year. Doesn't mean that when you get to the next year, you double down because that creates 
them going back to the polls and saying no again. So just a little thought there in that one. And also on the part-time wages, I see we're increasing an individual from $10 an hour to $11 an hour. Correct. And that's a 10% increase. And you say that person has been with us since 2002. The scope of the work that person does? I Minutes? didn't say that person has been with us since 2002. I said that position has not oh, had an position. increase since 2002. Mm -hmm. And what that person does is keep the minutes for every public hearing that we have. Okay. And I'll just throw out um, real life experience this year. The Budget Committee um, finally gave an increase to a position that hadn't been increased in 15 years. So, but we're pretty close to that. <laughs> but it's not the same person, correct? How long has this person had that position? Uh, this person has had the position for um, less than a year. Okay, and they don't get a flat rate per meeting, they get an actual hour. Right. So they're less than a year? Less than a year. So they accepted the position at $10 and a year later, you're giving them a 10% increase. What I'm saying is that the position warrants 25% an increase. We, as a conservation commission, have asked for pretty detailed minutes for our meetings. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of work involved. I don't, I don't doubt that. Um, there is a lot that has to go into it. I'm just saying the position was offered out there at one rate, and one year later, the increase is for 10%, is requested for 10%. <clears throat> that, did that person receive a mid-year increase? They did not. They did not. Okay. Only the other part-time position received a mid-year increase. That's correct. Okay. And I just have one other, I think, one other question and one point of clarity. Um, when it comes to, and I'm looking for the exact point. Give me one second here. Deposit to the Conservation Land Fund. Is that the money that is left over in your account at the end of the year, if you have money left over? No. What we, we have that line item has been on the budget for as long as I've been on the commission and probably longer ago than that. And there was a period of time where we were asking for $1 annually just as a placeholder, if you will. Um, in fact, uh, the funds that go to that, to the Conservation Land Fund, come from warrant articles where we ask for that money if the voters choose to support those warrant articles and from change of use fees, um, so which, have, which was also approved by I, a warrant I somehow article. think deposit to the Conservation Land Fund, because we have so many different funds and so many different things. Some of this is new to me, too, so help me out here. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> That doesn't really say what it is based on the explanation you just gave of the monies that go into it. And I guess I need a little clarity because the Conservation Commission works a little bit different than the town budget in so far as when you come to the end of the year, whatever is left over in your budget rolls into which fund? Conservation fund. Conservation fund. It's the conservation right. fund. Okay. So, just using round numbers, if your budget was ten thousand and you spent ninety five hundred and you had five hundred dollars left, it would not go to into the unreserved funds. It would go into the conservation fund for your use at your discretion. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just need clarity on that. Now, when we talk about land acquisition fund, because that's thrown, is there a separate land acquisition? fund in itself. We have changed the name. It used to be called the Land Acquisition Fund, but by specific definition, those funds were to be used for acquisition and maintenance of conservation land. Having the word acquisition in the name of the fund created some confusion, so we've just changed that name to the Conservation Land Fund. Okay. 
the conservation land fund, so going back to the conservation fund. So now there's one fund that deals with all of it. So it's now the conservation land fund. But the conservation huh. land fund. Hold it. Yeah, we got trouble with this. Yeah. The con <laughs> I, got a couple, well, I got a couple of questions, but I just want to be clear, so bear with me. The conservation fund was coupled with the land acquisition fund. Now we have one fund called the conservation land fund that is for acquisition, but also maintenance and any programs that conservation commission deems worthy. Mm -hmm. And that the fu those funds never go back to the general fund once they're given to the conservation commission. If I got that link, okay. The conservation land fund. Conservation Commission land fund monies are only used for the acquisition of conservation land through outright purchase or the purchase of conservation easements and the maintenance of those properties. That is all the funds, that is, those are the only purposes that those funds are put towards. Okay, so you couldn't take wages out of that particular fund or... Nope. That's it. All right. So then I have an, the other question I have is you change that from the land acquisition fund because somewhere I've gotten lost. I thought I was funding land acquisition funds. For the you fund. are funding land acquisition. Well, it, no, it's changed a little bit. When did that change and who changed it? It changed last year. The Conservation Commission changed it. The, what changed was the name of the fund, not the usage of the fund. The usage of the fund the description of what that fund could be used for always included maintenance of conservation lands. That has not changed. As well as acquisition? As well as acquisition. The only reason for the change of the name of that fund is because a lot of people assumed that because the name of the fund said acquisition only, that the monies in that fund could not be used for maintenance. Mm, we changed the name of the fund to have it more accurately reflect what the monies in that fund were used for. Was is there some place where the land acquisition fund was spelled out that it was for maintenance as well as acquisition? Or was and it a the gray fund area? was created I believe it was in nineteen eighty five at town meeting. That's how it was spelled out. That's how it was described. It was 1885. 1985. 1985. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I'm getting old. That's close. Oh, God. So, so there's only one fund then, right? Yes. One there's fund. There's only one fund. It's called now the Conservation Commission. Nope. That's Conservation <laughs> Commission Land Fund. The Conservation land fund. Commission Land Fund is only used for the acquisition of conservation properties and the maintenance thereof. Okay. We don't take monies from that fund for any other purpose. What, what revenue stream into there? Where are you get the? How does that fund bill? By warrant articles. By warrant articles, by and change of use fees, and in at times in the past um, through gifts. We've had money donated for that fund um, twice in the past. Mm -hmm. What's it? Now Remember that fund but again? Can no, you do it one we'll, more time? We'll I'm gonna write it down. I just want. It's also the residual that's left out of your budget at the end of the year would go into that fund. That does not go into the land fund. It does not go into. It does not go into the land. So there is two so separate funds that we're. No, it goes into the undesignated fund balance is what I think he's driving at. Right. No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go into the. It stays the statute. It goes into the conservation fund. Okay. Exactly. Right. So if we stays only there. have one. So there are two funds. There are two funds. There are two uh, funds. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> in the beginning, I thought there were one. Now there's two. What is it? Come on, there'll be three. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now there are two. Aha. Aha. You know what? Hey, I explain hey this. gentlemen, we, we're asking him questions. Let's give him the floor. Thank you. My understanding was that people were asking if there was a conservation land fund and a conservation land acquisition fund. <coughs> that question, I was saying, no, there is one fund, which is the conservation land fund. Okay. Okay. That's one. Then we have our conservation commission, if you will, general fund, separate and distinct. Uh, that's not on this list of funds. That's because we keep it. Madam Chair. Right. All right. 
I recorded this um, session. I'm going to turn over to Tim for questions and anyone else. I'm going to try to get this clear in my mind, so help me, okay? We have <laughs> <best>. two funds. <laughs> right. One is the conservation fund. Right. That's the name. Do you know how much money is in that fund? I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, Would you like to take a guess? <laughs> Off the list of funds that we received, Tim, it was uh, as of 9:30 was 135,450 dollars. Exactly right. How much again, Nick? 135,450. Right. Thank you. <coughs> now that fund, according to statute, because the statute reads that conservation, the town may create a conservation fund. Do you have a question, Jay? Can you excuse me. Sure. Do you have some wisdom you'd like to share? Nobody knows. No, continue, please. Okay, you're going to keep it secret. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have a conservation fund, which, according to statute, uh, the town can create a conservation fund, and when they, when the town does create it, it's uh, under the authority of the Conservation Commission. The Conservation Commission is appointed, not elected. Correct. And they need well, no one's permission to take money out of that fund, except the Conservation Commission's majority vote, which constitutes three members, right? No, four. Four. Let's hope you don't have a tie, I guess. <laughs> now, the other fund, which was at one point in time called the Land Acquisition Fund, do you know how much money is in that? We have, I believe, 60 some odd thousand that is available funds. Okay. 60 some odd thousand. So add those two funds together and you got 200 some odd thousand dollars in, in the two funds that are under your control. Can I, can I just, just, I don't want to get too far. Just don't. We'll stay on the air and I, I, I'm summarizing, so hopefully no, I'll get right to where you're you going. Okay. To the 108? <laughs> 108. <laughs> 108. <laughs> Where is that? I watched the clip. Okay. And there was the 108, 46 allotted for part of the cost for ice pond, and approximately 60,000 left. Oh, but that's just, that's a Warren article. That doesn't yeah. go into the yeah. land fund. No, 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 no. That's part Let me of the fund. Here. No, she's right, referring to your presentation <laughs> at the <laughs> Board of Selectmen where you mentioned $108,000, but I believe that referred to the ice pond Warren article uh, money. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. Let so me we're, we're not talking about those. No, gonna, we're talking about funds. He's going to answer that. Though. We have wisdom from behind you? We have wisdom from behind me. Okay, excellent. <laughs> glad, you, glad someone's got your back, Jay. Um, our total fund balance is uh, roughly $135,000. For the yeah, land both acquisition. Funds. Both funds. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Both funds. We have a report from the finance director saying one fund, <coughs> Conservation Commission fund, for $135,450. Is there needing a correction to this, uh, Christy? It's my understanding that the treasurer holds the Conservation Commission fund. And within that fund, she has a breakdown, which I do not have for you, so I can't tell you how it is broken down. Right. But it's broken down by her, and I believe that what we're now referring to as the Conservation Land Fund, as in instead, of the conserva instead of the Land Acquisition Fund, is included in that Conservation Commission fund that the Treasurer has listed on the list of funds that you receive. So it's kind of like double mint gum. It's two, two, two funds in one. I believe it's broken down even further, to be completely honest with you, but I don't have the breakdown. But it, I am under the impression that the Conservation Land Fund is included in that, con what, she re what the Treasurer is referring to as a Conservation Commission fund. And at the end of the year, whatever is left in their budget does go to the treasurer, like the chairwoman has. Right, goes to the treasurer, goes but to the treasurer, which fund? The but conservation. But what I'm hearing fund. is, the, uh, what I'm hearing is from you, uh, is that the treasurer is commingling the two funds into one fund. I do not believe they are commingled. I believe she has them listed out 
then why didn't you report them out separately? Excuse me. I don't know. They have different uses. I believe they have different uses, therefore she keeps the amount separate so that but, they but, know. But you asked her, when you generated this report, you asked the treasurer. Because she considers it the Conservation Commission. So in her mind, she's commingling it. Maybe she is in her books or not, we don't know. But at least in her mind, she is commingling it. I think that it's not commingled if she has it <coughs> spelled out on paper in her office. I would disagree with that. Why don't we get clarification on that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's get clarification yeah, we don't on be, that. We need to get from her. If this well, we have just gotten new light on the matter, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Christy. So, uh, I mean, we've gone as far as we can on that point. Yeah. But it seems as though some minds, some official minds, treat the two funds as one, and occasionally, depending on the circumstances, others do not. You know, my, my, cons my thought, or is my uh, thinking is, is that surplus money that he doesn't spend in his budget comes over to here. Why can't that be used for raises, for instance? Well, the conservation fund, according to statutes, can be used for any purpose consistent with the Conservation Commission's activities, right, regardless right. of what those activities yeah, are. Right. So, theoretically, that's correct. But just, give, re I mean, just I, reclaiming I, it my time. It sounds like there's, a, there's an acquisition and maintenance part of this branch, and another branch, to me, it's a general thing that could be used for things like raises. Right. Yeah, well, and other expenses. We still got the double mint gum problem to no, deal with. Right. We've got but to get certainly a the conservation that. fund under statute so then affords the suggestion that you were putting forth. Okay? Yes. So, reclaiming my time. Christy, if we could. If I could. Officially ask <laughs> the clarification of the two funds, how they're listed, and the differentiations between use. And I think it's important to bring that up because as we're talking about dams and maintaining dams, where the maintenance would lie, and if personnel cannot be covered in these items, where the personnel would fall on. Sure. That's a good question. We claim my time. You can. Thank I just you. wanted to follow Thank you that, for that through. Clarification. Yeah, I appreciate right. that. I think the personnel issue is a good issue, and if it belongs in either one of these, because clearly um, somebody will have to maintain the dams if and when they're ever. But the ice pine dam. Thank yeah. you, Madam Chair. You're welcome, sir. Jay, you mentioned that the land, the formerly known <laughs> land acquisition fund, is was created by a Warren article in 1985. I believe it was 85. And that, therefore, was created by the voters of the town, the ultimate legislative authority in the town, the voters. Mm -hmm. <coughs> in that Warren article, did it authorize the Conservation Commission <coughs> to change the name of the fund as it saw fit? Um, specifically, no. Then how did the conservation divine that it had the authority to change the name of a fund that the local legislature, the town voters, said this is the name. How did the Conservation Commission divine the authority to make that change? Our intention was only... And ask about your intent. How did you divine that it was in your authority to do so? We didn't know that we didn't have the authority. Oh, so you so. assume you have the authority unless someone tells you do not. Is that correct? In this particular instance? Thank you. No more questions, Madam Chair. Does anybody else have a question? I do. I okay, do. Well, Steve, go ahead. Okay, I, I, I watched the selectmen's meeting, and there was define something that's being maintained. Are we you, are we going to be talking about that bri uh, the uh, dam? Is that where mm -hmm. that what maintenance we're talking about? Right now, that is. Fortunately, most of the properties that the town owns require little, if any, maintenance. Okay. The town owns the ice pond and the ice pond dam through the Conservation Commission. Right. What other, what other things do you maintain as a Conservation Committee? Trails. Okay. Um, there's really not much else. This is really the first time any significant expense item for maintenance has come before us, certainly as long as I've been on the commission, because as I said, most of our other properties are just open spaces. There are no structures, there are no facilities on them, there are no bridges, there are no dams on any of the other properties. So maintenance is, is almost negligible. It, it requires cleaning up trails and maybe unclogging stream beds, which is something that we can do on our own or with volunteer help. Right. The dam is a different ball game. Obviously, we don't have the ability to build a dam. Right, but 
And now, your, your appointed as well as two other conservation uh, committee people, correct? You're appointed, you don't get paid, correct? Well, we only have one paid employee. Everybody else right. on the commission is appointed, correct? Yeah, and you get the same pay as we get. Exactly. Okay. Now, the when I listened to the meeting Monday, um, the little segment that I listened to, I heard you talking about the um, main, maintaining the dam with some of this money, because uh, there was a Warren article last year for ninety thousand dollars that passed. Correct. To fix the dam. Right. And I think from what I gathered from the meeting uh, Monday with the selectmen, you weren't able to get to that project at all. Is that correct? So the ninety thousand is still sitting there. Correct. And it's going to have to be another Warren article because it wasn't. Uh, it, it, what, what is the word? It, it runs out. It lapses. It lapses. Right. That's it's not non-lapsing. Okay. <coughs> Have you used some of this money um, to do something with that dam this year? Only work with an engineering firm that we hired uh, through bidding process to design the dam for us. Wouldn't that come out of the ninety thousand? versus this no, money? No, that came out of Conservation Commission funds. I don't understand why. I, I mean... The, ni the $90,000 was... To, is to fix is the to, dam. Is to rebuild the dam. Right, so that... It, it did not include the engineering work for the dam. Oh. As, a, as a person that voted for that, um, I thought it included the so 90000 thought it was a wraparound. Yeah, that was the cost. I didn't realize that you were going to be taking money, you know, that there was only partial cost, mm -hmm. and then more, you know, whatever would be taken out of this money. Yeah. I didn't know that as a voter last year. Jay, was that money? So that's, that's news to me. I'm sorry about that. I, we, I thought we made it pretty clear that the estimates that we got for the cost from the engineering firm for the cost to rebuild the dam was about $130,000. We were asking the voters for 90, and we're going to make up the difference from the conservation. Out of one of these funds, okay. Was now, that, what, I'm sorry to interrupt you, was that money spent to the engineering firm prior to the vote that approved the 90. repairing the dam? Um, some of it was. Okay, so in other words, it was a decision by the commission to expend the funds for that engineering review prior to the project being confirmed by the voters. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with that, Madam Chair. No, they, wait, they wait. I, I didn't say anything that. was just, wrong. Just I'm just questions. trying just to see. I to be clear. They have the authority to, to do that. With their funds. Right. Okay. Can I finish now? Mm -hmm. um, so, so the conservation land fund is used to acquire and maintain, and then the conservation fund, what is that used for? other purposes for the Conservation Commission, other projects that we have, other things that we are looking to pursue on the behalf of the town. Okay. That's dictated by statute. Any, any activity uh, defined under the Conservation Commission, any activity can be used, can, they can use the Conservation Fund money to do that. Okay, and, it's and that includes hire a thousand employees if they want. Well, that's what I'm asking. Yes. You, you basically can do whatever you know, but yeah. but it's under it's under RSA, and it says that's that's what, correct. That's what, and is the conservation committee okay? But, but it also that answers says the question to, to your maintenance question. Think about maintenance of, of of real estate, but there are other requirements in the statute regarding maintenance. For example, there's a requirement to maintain an index of all open space and natural aesthetic or eco ecological areas with the plan of obtaining information pertinent to proper utilization of such areas, including lands owned by the state. Is that index available to the public? Yes. Great. I don't know that it, yes it is. It is. How, how might the public go about getting access to it? Uh, call the conservation coordinator. Call the conservation coordinator, okay. 5808. And are there, are there plans for the proper utilization of, for example, uh, Hampton State Park, which this clearly says it includes lands owned by the state. We're indexing lands by the state. Obviously, we don't make decisions on how those lands are to be used because no, we no, don't No, no, it own refers them. to uh, with a plan of obtaining information pertinent to the proper utilization. So do you have plans regarding the proper utilization of what is indexed, specifically Hampton Beach State Park? 
because it might be improper by some people's view to use town money to fund certain activities taking place there. Okay. But others might well, differ with, on with that. With all due respect, Madam <coughs> is, is this really budget related on? Yes, it is. Is it? Mm -hmm. So on, on what he has for indexes, and whether or not he has the proper index, is this, we're, we're, we're grilling him on his job performance much more than we're asking a budgetary question. Excuse me, well, I, 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 mean, I do not think that's an accurate characterization. Excuse me, one minute. Speaking There's no the one chairman. grilling. I'm Kim, one minute, and I'll answer that. So I think that he's being grilled on his <coughs> job performance much more than we're spending time asking him about his budget. Maybe the budget was a little confusing at, at the point. I think we've taken the proper amount of time to, to understand that. Mm -hmm. But I don't think this is the forum to start asking him who we should consult and do you have the index and do you, I don't know what that has to do with our budget. I know we're trying to stay firm on asking budgetary questions yes, so we can and, move and these around. You asked but I think we're going out a little bit. But you asked me a question. Mm -hmm. Let me answer you. I'm waiting for it. It seems a little far reaching. However, it's not because it involves two funds that as we sat here tonight, no one at this table, including myself, could clearly define because they've been changed. But we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Now going forward, we have Warren articles that will be proposed. We're not discussing Warren articles though, right? We're talking about... We've made that very clear. We're not discussing yeah. Warren articles we, Are you going to let me answer your question that you asked me to answer well I don't in its know entirety or do you want to just <laughs> maybe I'll just keep going because that seems to be the leadership role that we just interrupt people and we just keep going so mm -hmm. uh, excuse me madam chairman I think this is yes, getting sir. a little off of the normal I path. do too Whew. madam chair point of order the, I agree. the budget that we are discussing is attached to these funds in that any surplus from the budget goes into the funds. So therefore, the budgetary conversation naturally would include the funds. Okay? I get that. And of course, whether we're properly spending money in areas that are consistent with the law is, of course, a proper conversation and a duty of our of office, I know that. Should we read the whole RSA? No, I am not reading it. <laughs> this whole RSA is multiple pages long. I know. So and I have no intention of doing that. I am only pointing out that there's supposed to be an index. I don't think most people know there's supposed to be an index to, that's produced. And, and, and the gentleman just answered me that such an index is available, and I was simply asking him whether or not that that index also includes, as law requires, that there be information pertinent to the proper utilization of those indexed areas. And I don't believe I got an answer, did I? Uh, well, you asked about a specific property, and I. Well, I was using that as an example, but I was well, asking gave, broadly. Tim, he gave you an answer to that. What was the answer, Madam no. Chair? The answer no. was no. The answer no. was no. There is no pertinent information relative to proper utilization of the areas we've indexed. Okay. I'm going to move on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a small department. It's two accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty-seven thousand one year, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty-three thousand. Um, you know, it's varied marginally over the last five years. I think we should move on. Mm -hmm. That is your opinion. And yet, I'll second prior, that. To, prior to that, there wasn't any money that was given in the budget. So it's growing and how the growth is, is, is put forward. Of particular interest to me and should be to the rest of you is that when the Warren Articles were passed last year for maintenance of the dams, that did not fall on DPW. It fell here. And the questioning about all these funds, about where everything is, about the places that personnel can be paid from. I go back to the year that we had the Mother's Day floods. We've been blessed the past couple of years. It's been dry. But if we have a <coughs> wet season, and we have a pond that has been reconstructed, we will need someone to maintain the gates on the pond. That is an expense. And I just want to know from now where I should look for that. What fund? And as I'm sitting here, I'm finding out that these funds have changed, and I'm sorry if it's taking some of the members' times and they don't appreciate it, 
but that's what this committee does is it defines where the things are and how they're used and if it's money that is raised by the public where it goes so I apologize to anyone who doesn't have the patience to have it explained thank you I might add to that I mean if, if these funds or a part of the funds can be used for maintenance why didn't we pay the ninety thousand dollars out of to fix the oak to built the ice pond dam out of, out of the general fund here or why, if we're going to give raises to somebody that works in the Conservation Commission, why don't we pay for it out of the surplus going into it on, on a yearly basis? So I'm not sure now what to do with this budget. Those are really management questions. Yeah. So That's I, not would, I would point out that in addition, Scott, to the relatively small budget number that we see every year, you know, we've got uh, multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in funds that are tied or associated with this. Mm -hmm. So while the appearance is small when you look at this piece of paper, it's a much bigger animal. I mean, it's even bigger than that, isn't it, Jake? How much, how many millions have we spent acquiring property rights in the last few years? And do you, by the way, do you have a balance sheet as to the value of those property rights we now hold, just as a, 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 a to kind of give us an idea of, of the enormity of the Board of Selectmen's task in protecting the town's assets? Most of the funds that we have spent of late to uh, acquire properties have been to acquire conservation easements on properties. Right, and those are those are land rights. So, how, what what would you guess? I mean, how many millions are we talking about? Very far. I don't Two, know. three. I don't know. Okay. See, Scott, it's a much bigger animal than it looks on the surface. Okay. Trying to get a budget reviewed and passed. I know. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to bring light. I'm trying to bring light on issues where there has been perpetual shade. All right. Oh, okay, we, we, thank you. We've got to get Thank clarity. you all. I'm going to move on from this. Um, helping the board selectmen protect the town's assets. Madam well. Chair, if, if, I mean, we, it, obviously we have some general questions. Multiple people have the same questions. Yeah. I say let's put those questions on paper, send them to the TM. He can disseminate them accordingly, and we will get results back, uh, hopefully answers to our question. Give everybody time to research Nick, them. The, I the agree. The town manager has no authority on the Constitution. None. Zero authority on the Constitution. <coughs> can disseminate the questions to, to get the answers yeah, where we can, we. we can put them. <laughs> the only place we can put them is the Conservation Commission. Then, so he will direct the, then he will direct them to <laughs> him and he can research them and get <laughs> back to us. Directing to him right here. Gentlemen. Let's, let's put them on paper. Madam Chair. Okay, put yes, them on paper. Sure. Yeah. 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 Fine. Um, By Matt, all means. What time's your flight? <laughs> <laughs> I think he missed it already. All right. you suggest that we all join him so we can follow up with that question? Yeah. Okay. We'll get our questions to the treasurer. If you have questions, <coughs> send them to me. I'll send them to the appropriate places. Thank, Thank you, Madam you. Chair. Thank you, Nick. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for coming in. I hope you don't feel grilled. <laughs> <laughs> and have a good flight. Yes, have a good trip. Good night, Thank, you. trip. Thank you. The turbulence started before the flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 y